The following opinions are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Hi, Christopher Hughes for BoatTest.com. Today we're going to conduct a full test and review of the latest innovation in outboards from Evinrude. This is the Evinrude E-Tech G2 250HO. Let's see what she brings to the table. Pontoon boats are growing in popularity and more and more owners want the kind of performance that only a high horsepowered outboard can deliver. For this test of the Evinrude E-Tech G2 250HO, we'll be aboard a 25-foot pontoon boat with a test weight of just over 4,900 pounds. The first thing to know about the new G2 250HO is that it has 81 degrees of tilt, which means that when not in use, it can be completely out of the water on nearly any kind of boat. The anti-cavitation plate is larger than before, and the skeg is angled to counteract the torque of the prop, which eliminates the need for a trim tab. This engine has a full one and a half inches between the prop tip and the AV plate. The shaft bearings and gears are more robust in the lower unit. For our test, this engine was fitted with a four-bladed stainless steel prop. Now let's put the engine in the water and begin our test. As the engine tilts back into the water, note that there is no steering linkage or hydraulic cylinders at the front of the engine. This is due to the integrated steering system. On the G2 series, Evinrude has designed all of the steering apparatus to be internal. This has the advantage of keeping the outboard well uncluttered. It allows 81 degrees of tilt and eliminates corrosion because the steering mechanism is completely encased and protected from the element. Once offshore, we put the boat through her paces by putting her over a full 31 degrees to one side and then the other at all different speeds. At no time did we get cavitation or blowout. Steering was smooth and easy. When we shifted from forward to reverse, the shift was quiet and there was absolutely no clunk. To test her acceleration, we started from a standing start, threw down the throttle, and recorded an average of 6.2 seconds to 20 miles an hour over the three times start. Our pontoon boat had a length overall of 27 feet 6 inches and a beam of 8 feet 6 inches. Our total test weight with fuel and the crew of three aboard was 4,928 pounds. Next, we ran a normal regime of reciprocal speed runs going from 500 RPM all the way up to wide open throttle. Top speed was 45.6 miles per hour at 5850 RPM, where we burned 22.3 gallons per hour. We found best cruise from a fuel efficiency standpoint to be at just about 3,000 RPM, where we went 16.9 miles per hour, burning 6.2 gallons per hour for a range of 123 statute miles. Of course, the most comfortable cruise speed will depend on the conditions encountered and the number of guests you have on board. On test day, we found that we enjoyed the boat most at just about 4,000 RPM to 5,000 RPM, where we went from 22.5 miles per hour to 33.9 miles per hour. It's well to remember that most pontoon boats are built to carry a crowd of people. The boat we tested was rated for 15. That's a lot of weight, and it's why Evinrude put a four-blade prop on this engine. Because she's a two-stroke with high torque at low end, and because she has the high output option, which means she puts out about 10% more horsepower than her rating, she should be able to handle almost any legal load without becoming sluggish. Pontoon boats make for great sundown cocktail cruise vessels. And in that mode, we're happy to report that the G2250HO is quiet and very fuel efficient, burning only 1.7 gallons per hour at 7.2 miles per hour. And that's our full test and review of the latest innovation from Evinrude, the Evinrude E-Tech G2250HO. For BoatTest.com, I'm Christopher Hughes.